Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. <laughs> Q3, people whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of another list. Yeah, so this one, I think I just was trying to, uh, well, one was I just want to make sure what they meant by subset. Uh, I mean, I know that subset has a definitive meaning, but I feel like it, in recent days, uh, lead code, um, lead code's definitions weren't exact. So, um, so I just want to make sure, and it's not even just lead code. Sometimes different problem setters will have different uh, definitions. And, um, and by that, um, and because subset for a list means something else, um, and here it turns out that it means uh, the proper subset, I believe, uh, where every item is inside another item, uh, or another word, uh, maybe even dominated is, is a word that you can use, maybe. Mm. But in either case, um, I looked at n, n is equal to 100. Uh, the 500 companies, so I was like, eh, I'm the lowest. So right now I'm gonna start implementing the brute force, but which is n squared times um, the number of companies L, so n squared times L for L is equal to the uh, the biggest list of companies or something like that. Um, and that's pretty much what I do. Uh, I did have a little bit um, worry uh, with respect to the running time, but uh, but yeah. Uh, and I oh I also converted. Here I was like just double checking some stuff. I was like oh yeah, uh, I think at some point pretty soon I converted it from a list. I was going to use sorting and then binary search or something like that. But I was like okay actually just just convert it to a set. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I converted to a set, which allows me to do quicker lookups. Uh, and then after that, I just do a brute force. I just wanted to make sure that this works, that I can create a set that way um, while I continue to type so that I can look at it later. So I think there was a compile. It just tells me there's a compiler error, I think, because uh, I have a type one companies, because uh, I do look at it later. I'm like, oh, yeah, um, that's fine. And then now we're like, okay, if i is not equal to j, then we, we want to check whether uh, uh, the person i is strictly person i's list of companies is strictly inside person j's company. And I was like, okay, uh, I spent I end up spending about five minutes on this problem. I probably could have should have done it faster, but uh, but yeah. That's pretty much what I'm implementing. Even though I, I now that looking back, it seems like I'm really slow, but uh, for some reason, because I think I was still very. Uh, so during this time, I didn't know if I. I was thinking like, eh, do I need an optimization? And I think near this time, I was like, okay, if I need an optimization, I'll just do it later. Um, like I'll, I'll take a risk on a five-minute penalty because sometimes it is what it is. If uh, if it doesn't. Um, So if it's not found, so uh, if every item is found, then we want to set found as equal to true. Uh, and also, I did a little bit of a micro optimization. Um, so I, I I don't know why I wrote it this way. I think I was just rushing a little bit mentally instead of just writing brick because that's essentially what it does. But yeah, but now it's a now if um, if we don't find a case where someone totally likes all your companies and more, uh, we add it to an array. Uh, that is the result, and we just could be returned to I. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I ran, I YOLO submit, even though I probably could have tested the stress tested a little bit more. 
Uh, but that's cute three. People whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of another list. So I probably could have done this one faster. Um, but I think I just wasn't sure if they meant like proper subset. And I also wasn't, I don't, um, I was a little bit skeptical about this one in terms of running time. So basically what I did was brute force. Uh, it's n square. Uh, and then for i is not, yeah, yeah. So for n square, you, for every i, you compare it to a j. Um, and then see if everything in I is in J or not in J. Well, if w there's a one case where, um, yeah, if I if all of I is in all of J, then um, then that means that I gets dominated. If um, otherwise, if you cannot find an instance that's the case, then we add the index. Uh, I was I actually had a little bit. Um, I was a little bit scared about the running time, um, but I think I missed about the constraints now that, no, there are 500 companies, right? Um, yeah, so um, I use set to make the lookups easier. Um, but but yeah, overall I did brute force uh, n cube or n square times L for L is the number of companies. So uh, so I definitely wasn't confident about this one in terms of running time. Um, I was thinking about maybe I have to, at, at the very least, con uh, convert from string to like an int or something like that. But it worked okay, so uh, maybe the test case uh, weak, um, but I'm not sure. Because I, I do have some early termination, but it's still not... Um... Yeah, actually I should break on here. I don't know why I didn't break on here either. But, um... but yeah. Overall, I mean, this is just brute force. Uh, 